going to be talking about methane conservation in New Mexico. As a community member, this is important to me because I care about the health of communities like mine. I attended a methane stakeholder meeting and I was able to gain more insight on this topic. The importance of stakeholder meetings are seeing who shows up, maintaining environmental protection standards, getting answers to questions, understanding that the current oil process is important, especially when developing new innovations, and policy change can always begin with community involvement and advocacy. So ask yourself, if there's a way to conserve, then why not do it? The goals for New Mexico are based on a 100% renewable energy policy by 2045. New Mexico emissions by metric tons are higher in the Eddy and San Juan counties, and New Mexico loses $275 million in methane emissions each year. Emissions cause loss of resources and environmental protection. And what's cool about the new regulations are that they're based off of technologies that have been proven efficient elsewhere. So the projection savings within 10 years, if we do these new regulations, are going to be $5 billion are going to be saved just in natural gas revenue. So tackling the natural gas emissions are by monitoring, monitoring the process with cameras, robotics, and 24-hour surveillance, reduction in the amount of waste, and we need oil and gas compliance to get all of this rolling and moving. And also, we're just using the innovative and new technology. All of this is based on the government's policy. The hazards of transporting methane to homes are leaks. So the idea behind this is that the methane emissions could heat every home in Albuquerque alone. So of course, all of that would need to be monitored very closely. New Mexico oil and gas paid 2.2 billion in taxes in, in 2018. So this is really important, especially when the funding goes to public schools and universities. Having awareness of the uses for unrenewable resources is very important because we can all understand how to conserve these more and, and just the overall importance of that. So methane is used in cooking, production of other goods and compounds, lighting, rocket fuel, industrial machinery, carbon black, fertilizer, and heating. Some of the most devastating cases of emissions from oil are next to unprivileged communities, places where people can't afford to leave. The living situation is not healthy, leading to respiratory problems, cancer, and home degradation. Although gas and oil have been known to be harmful to the environment, we have largely been relying on these unrenewable resources. In this transition process, let's be mindful of our energy consumption and advocate for the health of every community. Thank you. <laughs>